So all of the upper moons had incredibly, incredibly powerful abilities and hacks. I mean, Kokushibo could make his breathing style a reality. Doma could emit giant eye statues and create clones of himself that were just as strong as his original body. Akaza could emit powerful shockwaves and use his compass needle to predict how and where his opponents will attack from, as well as find their vital points. And even the lower end of upper moons were crazily strong. I mean, Gyoko could punch you and you turn into a fish. Antengu had his clones who couldn't be defeated unless you find the main body and Nakime could control a seemingly infinite castle. But then we have Muzan, who created them, who made them demons. And the best we saw from him was use some tentacles and some poison. Yeah. Even these fools had better abilities than Muzan, I mean this guy right here had pocket dimensions. I just wish we got to see the full extent of Muzan's abilities because what we saw clearly wasn't. 